Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of Bates Tastes. So today's episode isn't a sponsored episode, well none of my um, episodes are sponsored, um, but this one is as a result of a company that I've used on the internet called Beer52. They're a beer subscription um, website, so basically each month, I think they have a different theme each month and they send you, well in my case, they send me eight different beers from different independent brewers. Um, we the wonderful flavours, different types from different countries, um, just so people like myself and other people who like different craft ales and beers and anything like that can get to try some drinks that otherwise they won't be able to buy in like a normal supermarket or anything. So yeah, I subscribed to them and um, they sent me eight. Because I've been on holiday, I've not had a chance to drink them and they're going to go to date soon. So... Um, Next couple of episodes will probably be me trying these different beers. Um, probably won't film all eight because some of them are quite standard. But I'm going to go through the ones that are quite funky and might be of some interest to you all. So that brings me on to the first beer. So, the first beer, courtesy of Beer 52, remember, not sponsored, um, is from a company called Evil Genius. Um, and it is called a I Love Lamp. I Love Lamp. What a weird name. I Love Lamp. I Love Lamp. So it's a pineapple hyphen weissen. So that's going to be like a white Belgian, I guess. So yeah, it's brewed and canned by the Evil Genius Beer Company. Oh, in Philadelphia. Okay. So it's an American one. And it comes under the Brewers Association of Independent Craft. So it says, a German wheat beer with an Hawaiian twist. This refreshing German Hefenwesen. That sounds like, um, like a werewolf kind of thing, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm rambling. This refreshing German Hefenwesen uh, got taken on a tropical vacation with the addition of natural pineapple flavour. Does this go against the German beer purity law? Yes, and that's the way we like it. So yeah. Like I said, oh, I thought it was going to be Belgian, but no, it's a um, German, German lager, and um, it's got pineapple in. It's a break it down into its simplest form. Um, just really weird though, like the the label's like stuck on, like I can just peel it off. But anyway, that's just that's me rambling. So yeah, let's give it a go. I do like pineapple stuff. I've had pineapple flavoured cider in the past, that was interesting. Right, Neef. Smells of a beer. Well, I could say smells of a German beer, like I know what German beer smells like, but it smells of beer. There is an aroma of pineapple, actually. Yeah, and do you know what? I'm looking forward to this one. It smells pineapple-y. I've got my cheddar ales pint glass. Um, do you know what? Shall I actually tell you what the percentage is and all that kind of stuff? That would be some valuable information for you, wouldn't it? So it's a 355ml can and it's 5.5% alcohol. Just in case you wondered. Yeah. So I thought it was going to be like a Belgian white with a bit of fruit flavourings because they do that quite a lot with the Belgian white. Um, it's actually quite a nice clear crisp, well semi cloudy but a nice golden colour. Um, quite carbonated as well, quite fizzy, I don't know if you can see the bubbles. It's quite a fizzy one. Definitely get the um, pineapple smell now and it makes me think this would be the drink I'd really like when I'm in the beer garden with the sun beaming down on me. And I'm just chilling, having a couple of these and a barbecue or something. But uh, yeah, let's, let's try it. That's nice. That is really nice actually. It's quite smooth. It's not overly hoppy at all. 
um, it's not too sweet it's not too sour you have got the um, like the pineapple flavour kind of running through it as well so you do know that it's got some kind of different unique flavour to it in this case pineapple yeah I did wonder if it was going to get a little bit um, bitter at the back of the throat like some of these ones do no not at all no there's no bitterness with this at all um, it's very easy to drink um, I am enjoying this one um, I wish the weather was nicer so I could go outside and enjoy it outside it's not it's England <sighs> yeah not overly hoppy at all um, I go worry about this a lot I think dad might even not mind that one he doesn't like his funky ales um, but for me this pineapple hefeversen is uh, it, it's a thumbs up it really is a thumbs up I'm liking this I'm liking this a lot and I'm hoping that some of the others well I'm hoping that all the others courtesy of beer 52 um, are equally as interesting as and as tasteful so like I said um, I'll be trying them intermittently sharing with you my opinions um, whether you see all later or not I don't know it depends on how these videos go but um, yeah for now I'm going to enjoy my I love lamp the name makes no sense I know there's like being like niche market and being unique and but I love lamp I don't get it anyway yeah I love lamp pineapple beer very nice thumbs up like I've already done thank you again for watching um, I'm going to love you and leave you uh, please like and subscribe should be an episode every Wednesday uh, but for now just want to say thanks for watching and to our bit